here are my mood boards for Fury Road. I'm Jenny Bevan. I'm a costume designer and I've been nominated for an Oscar for Mad Max Fury Road. Just thoughts, ideas, something to show, something to give us a starting point. Tom Hardy wearing Mel Gibson's real original costume from Mad Max because obviously the character being Mad Max you need that starting point from Mel's um, costume. I went round to his house and we did a bit of trying on just with stuff that was around and as you can see it gets quite sort of weird and mad. Tom had a lot of ideas and so he was really interested in the idea of his Max having some kind of weird army background and showed me all sorts of information about you know, all this army kit that I would never know about. But I guarantee you that 160 days ride that way. Whatever the project is, if, it, if you're making from new, then, this. like in our workroom on Mad Max, then we generate all these different pieces, and then I sort of put them on a stand and pin them on and try and make some sense out of it. We had to make multiples and multiples of everything because it was a very stunt-orientated film. It was the same set of stuntmen playing every part, so we needed um, to disguise them. Plus, they all had to wear goggles because we were racing through the sand and the desert. What a lovely day! The trickiest thing, um, I think, was probably the location. The country of Namibia is so beautiful. It's utterly eye-wateringly beautiful, but it's harsh. The temperature would change during 20 seconds. You'd go from actually blazing hot sun to really cold, damp conditions, according to the mist rolling in. Looking back on it, and I'm not, you just think, how the hell did we do that? Tom Hardy, at the end of filming, he did a painting of himself as Mad Max, and I'm the very happy recipient of uh, one of these paintings, and it's in private place in my um, studio upstairs. Funnily enough, when you very first get one, I got one for Room with a View for the Oscar, I mean, a long time ago now. I then didn't work for about six months. It was like, and people said, oh, no, that quite often happens. But in the long term, of course, it gives you real credibility. What does one wear to the Oscars? It's, it's, it, that is the only drawback to the whole being nominated lark. I kind of have this real thing. I really want to go Marks and Spencer head to foot because I love m &S. It's just... Um, it's just basic clothing, you know. And I hate this whole dressing up thing. And, but I've got a plan to be a bit fun with it, so we're going to see.